What has the day been like today so far for you? Well, it's been really exciting. Uh, I couldn't be more excited to be here, to uh, have the opportunity to come to Tucson and be affiliated with such a great program. So, been a little bit of a whirlwind, but uh, excited to be here. I want to take you back to when everything was sort of kind of finalized when you decided to come here to University of Arizona. What was the experience like? You're obviously a family guy. You mentioned it a lot in your press conference, mm -hmm. sharing that with your family and sharing the news that, hey, we're, we're headed out for a new adventure. Well, we've had a couple of adventures in our life, and family's really important, but uh, um, to come back west uh, is pretty neat, pretty special for our group, and uh, looking forward to it. It's, um, it's an emotional time. We're leaving a great place that is really uh, home to Liz, my wife, and I, um, but uh, we're really excited about the new opportunity and the new home we have here in Tucson. You spent 18 years with the University of Oregon Athletics Department. You're back in the Pac-12. I guess it was the Pac-10 back then. Yep. Um, with your time at Oregon, what do you think gives you your edge coming back now into the Pac-12 here at Arizona? Well, the experience at Oregon was uh, a really a big part of my life, um, but I'm real familiar with the conference, understand the, the geography of it, um, the competitiveness of it, um, the excellence of it. I mean, everyone in this conference wants to win championships, not only at the conference level, but at the national level. And uh, I think it's you know, if not the, one of the very best conferences in the country. I'm excited to be a part of that. Um, we want to be excellent all the way, and that's what we're here to do. You have a lot of experience with fundraising. That was one of the big things we heard about you coming into here. Um, how do you plan to use that experience coming into here, into Tucson, and building the program? Well, I think fundraising is about relationships. It's about connecting with people, and that's what we'll do, and that's what I've always done. It's about sharing the story, of what we want to do here with Wildcat Athletics, um, where we want to go, the things that people can make a difference in, and how we can impact students. Um, and that's what the story that we want to start sharing with people uh, so that they can become involved and help us grow uh, and make this program uh, even bigger and better than it already is. You mentioned a lot about the students and your relationships with them and the importance of being a student first and an athlete second. Is that something that was taught to you when you started down this path or was that something that you developed thinking that this is going to be a really important cornerstone of my philosophy moving forward? I think it's the cornerstone of intercollegiate athletics. Uh, that's what this is all about, um, is combining that college experience with uh, an incredible athletic experience. Um, it is just a, an unbelievable mold uh, for young people. And I believe deeply in it that it's one of the greatest training grounds there is for, for young people to come and be challenged at the very highest level athletically, but aspire to be great academically and then grow as a human being and move on and be very, very productive and contributing members of their community. Uh, Rich Rodriguez, the football coach, spoke earlier this week about the need, he's been blessed and very shy about it, the need for an indoor football sure. facility. Um, how do you plan to address him being so vocal about the need for the university to have that? Well, I look forward to sitting down with Rich. We've had some preliminary conversations. Uh, you know, coaches are very passionate about their program, and what we want to do is sit down and determine what those programs need to be highly successful. We want to align the priorities so that we can get the biggest bang and have the most opportunity for success going forward. And so Rich and I will sit down and you know, talk about those kind of things, and facilities are critically important. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but we want to make sure we've got the right alignment going in. What do you think the football program needs to be successful moving forward? Well, all of our programs need to be successful. We want to make sure that they're uh, um, funded appropriately, that uh, they can compete at the highest level. Um, you know, we're measured every day. It's a highly competitive world out there, and uh, we want to be competitive. We want to contend and, and compete for championships. Um, I know all of our coaches want to do that. Um, now we've got to map that plan so that we can see when and where we can get to. You said in your press conference that Arizona basketball here in this city, in this state for that matter, it's a jewel, and it really is. Um, what is your thought coming in and being a part of an NCAA perennial contender every single year? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty special. Um, you know, this is when you say, where are the best basketball programs in the country? Um, you know, Arizona's going to come right up, right away. And uh, that's the goal. Continue this program to be one of the elite basketball programs in the country. But great athletic departments have proven it. You can do that with more than just one sport. Um, basketball can, can help the visibility, certainly, and we can aspire, our other programs can aspire to be like that, and they should. Um, and so they can carry that, that flag for us and really help push our program forward. 
but uh, I'm anxious for the day when all of our programs are celebrating national championships. You're a baseball guy. You grew up playing baseball. You were a catcher. I was, correct. yes. Um, Jay Johnson is in his second year as head coach of the baseball team. They made an improbable run to the College World Series last mm -hmm. year. Growing up as a baseball guy, I got to ask your opinion coming in, being part of a baseball team that's seen a lot of recent success. Yeah. Pretty familiar with the success. Um, I watched Jay prior to him coming here and the job he did at his previous stop. Um, know of him through some really strong connections that I have in the baseball community. Uh, we've got a great baseball coach here and an incredible program. Um, made a tremendous run last year. And uh, I think there's a lot more of those in the future. So really excited about it. Um, yeah, I got a little bit more baseball in me maybe than some other things, but, uh, but all of our programs, just have the opportunity to be like that. Uh, we shouldn't fear that. We shouldn't step away from that. We should all want to be at the very pinnacle of our sport. Your job aside, you said you like to play golf. And what better place to be than in Tucson where you can essentially play golf year round. You thought about being here in this wonderful weather and a chance to get outside even in February, something maybe you couldn't experience back in a... Well, we got outside in February. You know, <laughs> usually uh, had to bundle up and uh, we'd go out on the pond and play a little ice hockey. Um, but uh, no, I, I think uh, we're in the right spot. You know, the weather, really looking forward to that. I do love to play golf, love to be outside, uh, love to hike, travel. So um, this is a perfect spot for our family. You kept mentioning sharing the message and, and getting the message out to people. What's the one thing that you want to, when your position starts officially here, the public message that you want people to know? Uh, this will be a program of excellence. It will continue and only rise from the level it is right now currently. We will always be a point of pride for the University of Arizona, for the state of Arizona, um, for our faculty, our staff, our students, our alumni, our friends of this university. Um, we'll do it the right way. We will always do it the right way with great integrity and professionalism across the board. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun doing that and we're gonna celebrate some wonderful chapters going forward of some of the best times of Wildcat Athletics. A lot of people talk about Greg Byrne and having big shoes to fill, but I can tell in the short time that we've gotten to know you and your press conference and now you're a really high character guy. How do you want to share that with the University of Arizona and everybody here in Tucson and perhaps the alumni across the country? Well, hey, um, You know, I, I am who I am, and uh, you know, I only know one way to do things, and I really believe in it, and that's doing it the right way. And uh, I want to go home every night knowing that we gave it great effort. Um, we had the best interest of our student athletes in mind. We represented the university in a high-class manner, and we helped make this place better. Um, that's what we want to do. Um, our program's about our student athletes. We're here to serve them. They're someone's uh, daughters and sons, and that's an amazing, awesome responsibility and we're going to live up to that responsibility so that every day they have a great experience.